Welcome. In front of me is a Realme C67 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to start off by talking about the state of this device so you can clearly see it is locked. It's allowing me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it and I could also use the Google account as the alternative way of unlocking the phone. Now this video assumes that we don't know either one of those, so to get started, you want to either progress forward or back out depending on how far you are throughout the setup process. If you are at the very beginning, go forward till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page and then connect to your network. Now by default, I believe if you connect uh, to network, it will go to the next page. If it does, so just back out back to this page as that's where we need to be. Next, you want to select the settings icon. Now I am going to hover my hand over here because it's going to show up the QR code with the password being visible. So just kind of like uh, do something like that. Oh wait, before it actually shows the password, uh, it shows this page. So here we're going to select share. Okay, now let's try to, there we go. We have the nearby button right over here, uh, right under the password. So you want to select nearby continue, allow, and then need help sharing, and I can remove my hand. Next, we're going to click on the three dots and select share article, choose Chrome, use without an account. For some reason, it doesn't work the first time, so we're going to repeat this. No thanks. And then in the search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So if you need a moment to write this link down yourself to pause the video. In here, scroll down to settings. Click on this icon. Then choose apps. Scroll down again and select App Battery Usage. Click on the three dots and select Show System. And then select Android Setup right over here. Choose for Stop and OK and back out. Scroll down even further to Google Play Services. Oh, there we go, Google Play Services. Here we're going to select Disable, Disable App, and for Stop and OK. OK, so we have now turned off two different things. Now we're going to back out twice, three times. Now we go to the main settings page. And next we want to go to, let me actually read up where we need to go. OK, so it looks like we need to actually back out to the beginning. I'm going to just be certain because I know that once we back out of here, we won't ha have the uh, need help sharing option visible anymore. So I just want to be absolutely certain that this is what I need to do. As a guide, it sometimes isn't necessarily written in the most clear way. Okay, I guess I'm just going to back out. So it looks like we can now finish up this setup. Oh God, no. Okay. So uh, now that we have access to our home screen, there is one last thing that we need to do to fully unlock this device. And that would be, come on, hello, notifications. Guess we're not getting notifications. So let's find the settings. Oh, there we go, it's right over here. 
In settings, we're gonna scroll down to system, scroll down again and select reset options, factory data reset, erase all data, and then click on that erase all data once more. Now, the reason you want to do that is because the device is still technically locked. We just, at the moment, circumvented the verification process. Now, when performing a factory reset of the device through settings, when the device thinks that we have finished up the setup, which right now it does, it forces the device to fully unlock itself. Now, I'm not going to go over this on the video just because once you click on that button, it's fully automatic, the reset goes through, once it's finished, you're back in the setup screen, at which point you can set up your phone in whatever way you want to, so there is not much to show after this. So with that being said, just press on that one last time, it goes to a factory reset and you're done. And with that out of the way, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.